Good morning, I saw that I actually lost a card. I didn't even realize I lost a card yesterday. Don't let your past hold you back. Don't even recognize that we did it. We, well, I guess we did get that. How interesting is that? South Node. Maybe that's one of the energies that we didn't really quite figure out yesterday. I'm very interested to hear how you guys felt yesterday. Okay, weekend reading. Hello, weekend. It's already weekend. Can I put this somewhere? Oh, it feels cold, so I'm going to take my gloves on. It is one of those days. I am doing a project on my other channel, so the table is still out. I have to put it inside again before it gets totally broken. But my gloves are filled with black paint. Who's surprised about that? No one. No one is surprised, Sandra. Okay. Let me show you. While we walk the table of, of absolute doom. Yeah. Do you guys remember how it looked last time um, when we did the Halloween episodes? I massacred it. Okay. I am using my trustworthy microphones again. So hello, better quality of sound. It is here for people being like, what is that? <laughs> okay. It is the wireless. I actually really, really, really like them, but I need to buy like more of these. So if I have other people around, you guys can uh, hear them. I wanted to use them when I did the baking a cake with, baking a cake with Kiri, but if I have it on, it just focuses on one person. The Divine Energy Oracle. That is today. Look at the beautiful heart. And we're using the book because I actually recently, so typical, figured out that there's actually a lot of magical information in the book. Yeah. By the way, Moon Moon came in with a bird again. I actually, I did put it outside because it was not dead. So hold on while I check if it's still here. Well, you guys can see me, but you can hear me. Oh, it's still there. I think it's dead. Well, the offering for Freya. You guys know the story I told yesterday, uh, not yesterday, uh, some time ago, with Freya taking the bird that I put in the, the tree. Well, it is nature. It is nature. That is cats, but it's just, I get so pissed off with Moon because he does sometimes just play around with them. Ugh. Bad Moon Moon. Anyway, okay. I did my best. You know, the funny thing is, by the way, with that, when I had put it outside, I, I heard Freya thank me for, you know, putting it out. So I felt good about that, at least. But let's see. What is the message for today? I just had this, like, someone is looking. Uh, some, someone is, yeah, someone is watching you, looking at you. But, you know, but the moment that I turned, because I was like, what? What? <laughs> Do we have a stalker in the mist? <laughs> I instantly heard that it's in the spiritual, um, or it's, it's a message for, for you guys, for all of us. That someone is like looking at our Instagrams, maybe our Facebooks, or, well, it could be in real life, but it, do, it, it doesn't feel like a stalker situation. It feels like a good thing. Yeah, which also makes sense why we have burst out of your cocoon. Is that the message we got like in the beginning of the week? We had this like with the bear, right? Step into the light or step into your light, something like that. Go with the flow, Paris. I always see these kind of cards like a, a travel 
sign, go with the flow. If you want to travel, if you want to go places, if you want to, whatever it is you want to do, go with the flow. Also, also, if someone reaches out because of the message with someone watching you or having an eye on you, just go, go, you know, go easy. Be you. You, do you guys know this feeling that sometimes when we know that someone is looking at us, <laughs> especially back in the days when we were at clubs and stuff like that. <laughs> it's a long time since I've been at a club, okay? When we know that someone is watching us, we have a tendency to, you know, like we straighten up, we like blink with the eyes, we like, we try to be thank thing and stuff like that. And then uh, it just turns out to be weird. So. <laughs> So no matter what, just act normal, because I think that whoever comes in, just act normal. No matter what this is about, just just be you. Go with the flow. This is also interesting for what we're talking about. Redefine your attention. Redefine your attention. What if, um, yeah, what, where is your attention? Go with the flow. Sometimes this can also come up when we are like stressing too much about okay what do I need to do I need to do this I need to do that like sometimes we are just way too fast on our feet like we are running wild in the forest trying to put the cards down um redefine your attention I do want to take the book for that one my god it really looks like the sun is coming out now finally <laughs> I just did a little dude and here it is the more your divine energy awakens in you, the more you start paying attention to your present attitudes and behaviors. Yeah, just go with the flow, just be you. I think it's very important that you're actually being you now in everything you do, because you are magic. Whatever it is that you're doing, you are magic. Notice which attitudes and behaviors serve you and which ones sabotage you. That is really something I have worked a lot with in December, but also in January. The past weeks, I have really, in conversations or, you know, the way that I react in whatever way and form, I really try to pay attention to, do I feel angry? Do I feel jealous? Do I feel sad? And if one of these feelings come up, I try to analyze them and obviously redefine them, right? It's just so important because we are manifesting what we truly want now. And if we are in a state of anger because of jealousy or something like that, then that is what we keep manifesting. So, yeah. Your divine energy is calling you to improve your attitude and place your attention on a higher and more supportive outlook. Especially when it comes to love, because I know a lot of us are like, Ugh, I cannot trust this person. <laughs> wow, the clouds are beautiful. One of them almost looks like a dog. <laughs> okay, I will see if I can show you guys. Now the dog is gone, but look at the clouds. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I think that is the message for today, people. Mm. Also, this energy of people, well, it could be more than one person actually like watching you. I feel that you also inspire people because that you're starting to be comfortable with you. And that inspires people. It's a perfect weekend message because now we have the whole entire weekend to to tap in to our attitudes and how we act. Because sometimes our faces, <laughs> our ex expressions tells more than words. Yeah. I feel that you don't realize how much people actually look up to you and how much people like you just the way that you are. You don't need to change anything. Beautiful message. I feel like there is something dangling here. Is it a little spider? Anyway, I will go inside. I will film a little bit more for my project and my other channel. So remember to go subscribe to my vlog channel if you haven't already. I'll link it up here. But 
thank you guys for being here today and with that have a magical weekend and i will see you guys on monday fresh <laughs> with coffee with new messages a new week new wonders new love new blessings Bye. And we climb right up to the top.